Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss types of singularities. Okay, so what is singularity? We have already seen in our previous video, but see, we will recall the definition and then we will go for its types. See, suppose we have any function f of z is equal to z upon z minus 2. You can easily see if I put z is equal to 2, the denominator will be 0. That means the function is not analytic at z is equal to 2. So we say it is a singular point or singularity. So what is a singularity? If at any particular point z0, function is not analytic or that you can say the denominator is 0, then we say it is a singular point or singularity. Okay. So in previous video, we have already covered with few examples. So if you want, you can go back and check. Let us discuss now what are the types of singularities. So in this video, we will cover two main types of singularities. The first one is isolated singularity. Isolated singularity and second is obviously non-isolated singularity. Non isolated singularity okay so let us discuss what is the difference between isolated singularity and non isolated singularity and how to judge them okay how to judge their types let us focus on isolated singularity okay so let me clearly write the definition here let me remove this part a singular point singular point z0 so the point should be singularity getting singular point z0 is said to be isolated singular point or it is a isolated singularity if there exists some neighborhood of z0 which does not contain any singular point of f of z. Okay, so here also I should mention f of z. Singular point z not is said to be isolated singular point of f of z. This is a function. If there exists some neighborhood of Z0 which does not contain any singular point of f of Z other than Z0, other than Z0. So what is meaning of it? That means suppose this is imaginary axis, this is real axis. So if we get any singular point, okay, if I get any singular point Z0, so we should able to find some neighborhood of Z0. That means we should able to find some circle around Z0 which does not contain any singular point of f of z other than z0. There should not be any other singular point inside the circle. Then we can say it is a isolated singularity or isolated singular point. Let us discuss one example. f of z is equal to z upon z minus 3. So will you tell me what will be the singular point or what is the singularity here? At which point? For what value of z the denominator will be 0 3 obviously if I put z is equal to 3 the denominator will be 0 so z is equal to 3 is a singular point okay so it is only one singular point the function has only one singular point so let me show in this diagram so this is imaginary axis this is real axis so 3 is a real number getting so obviously it will lie on real axis here 3. So definitely we can find some circle around 3, some neighborhood of 3 which does not contain any other singular point of f of z other than this 3. Okay, so we say it is a isolated singularity. Okay, let us discuss one more example. Okay, uh, I am going to use this space to give the second example. f of z is equal to z upon z minus 1 z minus 2. What is our function? z upon z minus 1, z minus 2. So tell me at for what values of z denominator will be 0. 
If I put z is equal to 1, denominator will be 0. And if I put z is equal to 2, then also the denominator is 0. That means the given function has two singular points. z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2. z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 are singular points of f of z. Okay, so the function has two singular points or two singularities. Let me show on this diagram okay this is real axis this is imaginary axis getting so one will be here and two will be here okay so only two singular points are there but see around one we can definitely draw a very small circle which does not contain any singular point of f of z other than one the same thing we can do for this two also we can draw a very small circle around two which does not contain any other singular point okay that this two so therefore we can say one and two both are isolated singularities so therefore therefore z is equal to one and z is equal to two are isolated singularities okay so see I hope it is visible to you. Uh, I have used very small font to write. So z is equal to 1 and z is equal to 2 are isolated singularities. Let us try to understand the dictionary meaning of it. Isolated, separate, separate, distinct, distinct, getting a very, uh, they are not very close to each other. So if you have such type of singular points, then we call them as isolated singularity. So let us go for the next type, non-isolated singularity. Just make a screenshot of it, then I will go further. So the next type is non-isolated singularity. Non-isolated that means singular points are very close to each other. Okay. So let me write. A singular point. A singular point. Z naught of f of z. Is. Said to be. Non-isolated. singular point if every neighborhood of z naught contains some singularity or singular point let me write singular point singular point z1 of f of z other than z naught other than z naught okay so this is imaginary axis this is real axis if you have any some point z naught which is a singular point of f of z if you draw any circle around z naught any neighborhood of z naught definitely you can find some singular point z1 other than z naught okay if you reduce the size of circle doesn't matter again you will get some singularity of f of z other than z naught Again, if you reduce the size of circle, that means reduce the radius. Again, you can find some singularity of f of z other than z naught. It is true for every neighborhood of z naught. Okay, each and every neighborhood. If you reduce the size, again, we will get some singular points which are very close to z naught. That means all these singular points are very close to z naught. So that's why we call it as non-isolated. You cannot make them separate. Okay, so we call them as non-isolated singular points. See? make a screenshot of it then we will stop thank you see you in next video